from the Cube Studios in Palo Alto and Boston. It's the Cube, covering empowering the autonomous enterprise. Brought to you by Oracle Consulting. Welcome to the special digital presentation where we're tracking the rebirth of Oracle Consulting. And my name is Dave Vellante and we're here with Aaron Millstone, who's the Senior Vice President of Oracle Consulting. Aaron, thanks for coming on, good to talk to you. Dave, appreciate you having me and I, I like the introduction of the rebirth of Oracle Consulting. Well, it really is. I mean, you know, you guys have gone from staff augmentation to being much more of a strategic partner and we're going to talk about that. But I, I want to start with this theme that you have about empowering the autonomous enterprise. Sounds good, you know, nice little marketing tagline, but give us, give us what's behind that. Put some meat on the bone. Sure, right, so you know, what we define as the autonomous enterprise is really using artificial intelligence, using machine learning, and, and using it to cognitively understand your actual data and processes you're using for your enterprise. And then you know, really embedding that into everything you're doing as a company um, and using it to both drive optimization and costs and increasing revenue. And I know that's a lot of kind of consultees speak. Um, so I'll, I'll, you know, we tend to think about it and we've been talking about it in terms of uh, what we call trimodal IT. Um, and it's, uh, this is probably the most exciting space um, that I've really thought through with, with my team as we build up a, a new consulting business you pointed out. But this is really about pivoting away from you know, the systems of record and the systems of interaction and really building up the systems of intelligence capabilities that all, we see all enterprises needing to invest in heavily um, if they're not already investing there, there currently. Well, I want to I want to talk about a couple of things there. You know, one is that notion of lowering costs and and, and in, or increasing revenue. And you're you're right. People say, oh yeah, that's consulting speak. But the, the a good consultant digs in and starts peeling the onion. Well, how do you how do you actually make money? You know, where are the inefficiencies in your business? And that's really what you're talking about. And that's what every business wants to know, right? Is is not that's the end game, but the how to is really what separates the good consultants from the pack. Correct, correct. And, and we're, you know, again, we're, we're on this journey now. We've been, you know, you, you mentioned it, right? We're, I'm two years into Oracle Consulting. Uh, myself, I spent 23 plus years uh, at Accenture, um, where I was a managing director with them uh, and part of their North American leadership team. When I came over to Oracle Consulting, we did, we pivoted from what you called staff augmentation business to a basic set of offerings, which, you know, were things that you'd, you'd recognize, right? Migration services of workloads to cloud or integration or security work or you know even uh, 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 st uh, paths for SaaS uh, augmentation that we would do. But you know pretty basic services. We're now pivoting again into uh, sort of two areas, infrastructure led transformation, um, which is really our bold cost takeout play, uh, as you just said, and, and sort of good consultants know how to do that. Um, and really what that is, is we're going and looking at companies that still have traditional data centers, or maybe they've got some things on clouds and some things uh, still in traditional data centers. And we're coming in and we're saying, there's a business case here that looks at your total cost of ownership. Um, and we think we can take out between 40 and 65% of your run rate costs. And that's everything from you know facilities, uh, fire suppression systems, through to the actual compute cost, through to the labor that's required to, you know, do the the physical uh, hands-on activities in the data center, right? So, you know, we have that sort of capability, and we're we're pushing customers hard in that space at the moment, um, and then driving that into a secondary conversation, which says, and by the way, with all these savings, you kind of have two choices, right? You can pocket the savings, obviously, um, or right, we would propose that you go into what we're calling the autonomous enterprise space and really building up your artificial intelligence, machine learning capability with centralized capabilities, centralized data versus letting every you know, line of business, every department do it on their own. So let me, but let me ask you, um, so that makes sense, but why your cloud? You were sort of a, a later entrant into cloud. So where does cloud fit into this? How do you respond to when customers say, yeah, but you know, you guys were late coming to cloud? Um, yeah, we are we are definitely late coming to cloud, right? There's no no two is about it. Um, and what we to, what we've got is we have a, what we call a generation two cloud. Um, and and you know I jokingly tell customers that we have a late mover advantage. Um, and that late mover advantage basically means that we've looked at what the first generation clouds have done, 
Um, and quite frankly, they're they're great at what they do, right? Um, they're fierce competitors. They're tough to compete with. Um, they've got a lot of mind share, but they fundamentally were about targeting consumers or targeting enterprise collaboration tools, right? So if you want cat videos, if you want to watch, you know, humorous videos that people filmed and posted on social media, those are great clouds for that stuff. But if you want really mission critical um, enterprise cloud workloads, right, that's where we come into play. Um, and so when you start to look at really the the key differentiators in our cloud and, you know, I'll throw out, at least this is how I describe it to customers, right? So, you know, we look at sort of three layers. Um, we have an autonomous capability, both in our operating system and our database. What that basically means is that we have machine learning and artificial intelligence that's driving the key, uh, you know, administrative activities in our cloud. Um, we then have our Exadata platform. So Exadata for us is a secret weapon, right? We uh, we think that it is a core differentiator um, in our products. And so, you know, Exadata, for those of you, for those watching that don't necessarily know what it is, right? So Exadata emerged out of the Sun uh, acquisition that Oracle did. It is purpose-built hardware that is engineered for our software products, specifically our databases. And now we've taken that concept and moved it into our cloud. And so, you know, customers can come in and take very uh, intensive enterprise mission critical workloads run them straight in our cloud. Um, and then, you know, when we look at the last point, it's probably security where, again, we have total segmentation of our security layers um, from the customer workloads, right? So again, we've we, we've taken the concepts that first generation cloud providers have implemented um, and they've scaled it globally. So it's really tough for them to walk back from it. It's a huge investment. Um, and mm -hmm. we're now gone into a generation two cloud. And quite frankly, that's, I, I think that's where, this is the frontier that, you know, everyone's racing to kind of crack. So we got to wrap, but uh, but I wanted to close on sort of the, I mean, again, we're talking about good consultants and good consultants have continuous improvement mindset. Uh, they got a North Star that they really never get to and that that keeps moving because you got to keep innovating. You got to keep disrupting yourself. So maybe you could end by sort of talking about some of the things you're watching, some of the milestones you want to hit and, and some of that transformation that, that you want to keep going. How are you going to achieve that? Yeah, and we'll get some of it when we hit the Deloitte segment too, right? But like, we're definitely, we've moved from, we've definitely moved from, uh, you know, the staff augmentation to offering, to basic offerings. We're now beyond that, we're starting to sell the infrastructure led transformation plays. What's exciting to me about that with our customers is, you know, Oracle's a big complex enterprise, um, as you'd expect with, you know, a company that has a tremendous amount of technology. We're now bringing holistic approaches to our customers, say, let us help you optimize everything end to end. Let's look at your data center. Let's not look at a narrow slice. Let's not look at just sysadmins and DBAs. We're looking at things comprehensively. So moving there has been a pretty big milestone for us to hit. We've started to get some, some good momentum with our customers. Our next milestone is really going to be taking that autonomous enterprise and blowing it out. We're in use case and incubation period right now with that. But again, we've got some, I, I would argue we have the best talent in the world right now uh, that thinks about this stuff and not, not just thinks about it from a pure technology standpoint, but thinks about how to actually make it effective for the business. And so once we get some of those motions going, right, the use case for the autonomous enterprise, that's artificial intelligence driven, right? It should have a continuous pace of change. Um, and it's going to start to evolve in areas that, you know, quite frankly, we, we can't even predict yet, um, but we're excited to see where it leads. Well, Aaron, thanks for spending some time with us. I am very excited to talk about that sort of collision course between your deep tech capabilities as, as Oracle, as a product company and this, the global SI Deloitte, we're going we're gonna to bring in uh, those guys in a moment. But so thanks very much for, for taking us through the transformation and great job, good luck. Thank you, appreciate it. All right, and thank you everybody for watching. Keep it right there. We'll be back with more coverage of Oracle's transformation right after this short break. You're watching theCUBE.